Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, uh, it's my pleasure tonight to rise uh, and speak uh, in favour of uh, the, the uh, Criminal Law Amendment Bill No. 2, and I commend uh, the Attorney General for his commitment to getting tougher on crime in Queensland. And, uh, I'm proud to be part of an LNP government which over the last 12 months has uh, introduced a number of measures uh, to, cramp down on, to clamp down on crime, um, and uh, particularly uh, pleased with the me measures we undertook last year in regard to sexual offences against children. Uh, but tonight, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, uh, it's my pleasure to, sp uh, to speak particularly in favour of this legislation on a number of levels, and I particularly want to speak about uh, the, uh, the ninth uh, point within uh, the objectives of this bill, and that is uh, specifically requiring that young people that uh, uh, create uh, works of art or uh, undertake graffiti uh, illegally uh, will be subject to uh, graffiti removal orders. Um, over the, uh, the past uh, 10 years, uh, in my electorate of Southport, uh, as a previous Gold Coast City Councillor, um, on many occasions I received phone calls from constituents, uh, from businesses, uh, from other people within the community to complain about uh, the amount of graffiti that was appearing uh, within the community. And this, this has been a, a, a long-standing issue that's caused enormous frustration for us as a society. Uh, I don't think it particularly reflects all that well on us as, as a community. Uh, and it's incredibly sad to uh, drive around uh, parts of the state and, and parts of our local community and just see the amount of graffiti that, that has been put out there. And I know from my experience as a city councillor that one of the most effective ways to deal with graffiti uh, is through proper graffiti management programs. Uh, and, that is the, the, and, and I know that for the local police this has been an incredible source of frustration as they've had to go out and photograph uh, the tags, they've had to go out and photograph the, uh, uh, the so-called works of art, uh, they've had to, to, to go out and track uh, some of the offenders are only to be frustrated by the fact that uh, the previous legal system provided them with no real recourse against the offenders. Uh, and uh, as one young person said to me only just last week, um, he felt that the graffiti management laws under the previous government were a joke in that it, it, when some, someone actually goes out and creates an offence, when someone goes out in the community and vandalises someone's front fence or the side of a building, uh, and then the police go through all that work and all that frustration to track them down and identify who the offenders are through a, a fairly uh, significant um, program of uh, photographing the tags and tracking the tags uh, and building up an evidence base, only to find that, uh, that many of the offenders just get away with a, a bit of a gentle slap on the wrist. Uh, well, that's not good enough. And uh, what this LNP government has been committed to is, uh, is uh, bringing in uh, um, tougher laws on crime and actually giving uh, real heart and real encouragement to uh, our police uh, and those other community members and councillors that have been out there really trying to clean up our communities in this, in this regard. Uh, and so I'm sure that, um, that council and, and the police within my uh, electorate and, and uh, down at the Gold Coast uh, will be absolutely delighted to know uh, that this government's getting tough on graffiti. Uh, I'm particularly pleased that in um, recommendation nine of um, the objectives of the bill, uh, we talk about inserting a new mandatory community-based order called a graffiti removal order uh, to apply to any child aged 12 to 16 years convicted of a graffiti offence under the criminal code. And uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, this is important uh, that people take responsibility for their actions and that we actually uh, provide uh, the police uh, and the legislative framework for, for, for this government to be able to take that sort of action. I know as a young child one of the things that, uh, that, that would happen in our household is that if, uh, uh, you know, there's that old saying, if you do the crime, you do the time. Uh, but the other thing that we were taught as young people was that if, uh, if we did something wrong against someone then we needed to go and make amends. And, and I think that this is an excellent um, uh, recommendation. I think it's, it's fantastic that we'll actually uh, be, have the powers to go and say to these young people that create these offences while, while they're young and in their earlier years uh, that if you get caught uh, and uh, we can identify you as the, 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 the vandal or the source of uh, that damage, uh, then we can actually insist that you go out and play an active role in cleaning up uh, some of that graffiti. Um, the church that my family uh, attend on the Gold Coast Metro Church uh, over many years we've actually run uh, some very successful graffiti cleanup programs where we've invited uh, members of our church and members of the community to come out with us on weekends uh, and clean up businesses and, and homes and, and fences and, and public property uh, as a bit of a drive uh, to improve things. And, and over many, many, many years 
Uh, we've involved some of the offenders through transformations down on the Gold Coast uh, where young people have come uh, through a drug rehab program. Uh, they've come with a sense of a real remorse about their past and, and, and their past behaviours. Uh, and they've actively participated in some of these graffiti removal programs and it's been a, not only a redemptive thing for them but it's also helped them appreciate just uh, the, the, the problems and the, and, and the challenges that they create. Uh, it's so easy to put the graffiti on, it's so easy to make that mess and stand back and think what a great job you've done but it's a whole other story when you've got to go there and clean it up. Uh, and so I, I absolutely uh, commend uh, the Attorney General uh, on uh, this initiative and uh, this new legislation because I think it's a really important step forward uh, in better managing graffiti across the state. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, uh, I also commend the bill because of the, the, uh, um, uh, the new measures that we're undertaking in respect of those that would uh, seek to peddle drugs to our kids. And what an absolutely abhorrent uh, practice this is. Uh, Th these tougher measures are just so important and, uh, and I'm absolutely proud to be part of a government that's wanting to get tough uh, on, uh, on crime, particularly in, in regard to drug trafficking. I know as a young person growing up on the Gold Coast, uh, there were many of my friends that, uh, that, that got involved in drugs that, that if you talk to them today, and I've run into many of them at high school reunions and, and other events in recent years, uh, and they all, they all utter those words, if only, if only I hadn't been exposed to that, if only I hadn't gone down that path. Uh, but uh, even more abhorrent to that is that when adults who should know better actually go out of their way to prey on our kids, uh, and I think it's one of the most disgraceful forms of crime. I think it's, it's, it's not just a crime on society, but, but it is just right up there with some of the worst crimes that we can think of. And, and you know, we talk about, um, you know, w when we think about bad crime, we normally think about things like murder and, uh, and uh, assault, uh, and yet uh, we often tend to downplay the seriousness of peddling drugs, and yet so many young people that get involved in drugs end up going down a fairly slippery slope uh, where it leads to all sorts of addictions, and it destroys their lives, it destroys relationships, uh, it often leads them into all sorts of petty crime, and then later on uh, in life, uh, more significant and serious crimes. And so to be sending that message at this point in time, uh, for us to be taking these, uh, undertaking these steps and, and taking a much tougher uh, stance on crime uh, is something that I'm incredibly proud of and, and uh, I'm pleased to stand here as a member of this parliament uh, and uh, to be able to commend the Attorney General uh, on this new legislation and it's uh, with great pleasure that I also stand tonight and commend this bill to the House. Mr Deputy Speaker.